David Fudge, and I'm from Sun City West, Arizona. Tom Sharp, and I'm from <coughs> Oakland, California. My name is Lita Dukeshire, and I am from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, my name is Rehaer Ingovalle, and I'm from Dominican Republic. My name is David, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm retired, but I was a biomedical engineer designing medical equipment. I was working for a pharmaceutical company. I'm a commission sales rep in the uh, tire industry, selling tires. I work for the uh, U.S. Border Patrol, and uh, I still am employed there. I've got about three years before I retire. I practiced dentistry for 47 years. And day trading is something I want to learn how to do. And I haven't found a good mentor or a good training program to kind of help me along the way. So when I found uh, CTU, I thought this is definitely the place I wanted to jump in on. The chat room is just incredible. The support that you get from other team members that help you to identify stocks that may be moving or that are really looking good for trades. And there's a lot of the, uh, the people that I've met here, uh, the instructors and you know, the other students too. Fausto and the team really took a, took their time with me. They put their money with their mouth is. They get the results. You know, you can actually see them make the actual trades instead of just teaching theory and, and you know, leaving it to you to work out in the real world. It's a very well organized program. It's um, logically oriented for me. And being in the chat room, there are a lot of good people and I've gotten to know a few online and then here I've gotten to know several more. But I think I just saw Fausto on a webinar uh, somewhere one day and I was impressed and so I decided to check it out. Here you are. Experience with Fausto. <laughs> <laughs> Fausto has been really helpful, really nice um, and I think the team he has around him makes it, you know, really, really easy. That I realized how much he really cares about his students learning. It wasn't something like that he's just trying to get to a part of his team. It's much deeper than that. An amazing guy. Um, met him on, uh, I remember uh, hearing his first video, his first live video, and uh, he has a lot of charisma, uh, and he's genuine how he sounds online. And I, I feel that he has a genuine interest in people and, and a sincere desire to see us grow and prosper. Now that I met him, see that the humble he is, you know, I see him as a very great man and mentor to follow into this field. At Cybertrade University, one of the biggest things that really always concerned me is I was you over 20 years ago. And what I needed more than anything was support. I need to learn and I need someone to hold my hand. Well, one of the big things we're very big on is we're very big on support and all the staff at Cybertree University is very, very well educated and trained how to trade the market. So when you call us, you're gonna be talking to a education advisor or an instructor and you're gonna see how much we really care about your trading. A lot of people you know, really don't look at you not only as a student, but we look at you as a family member because trading is a family. Or I certainly feel like I'm included as part of a family, if you will. Right? It's just a family feeling. They're taking care of you. We will always be there. We were one of the very first people who pioneered webinar technology when it first came out in the late 90s. When you log into our website, you're gonna see that we have courses, recordings, we have it going through step one, step two, step three, from beginners to advanced speech students. And you could come back and take the class as many times you want for free. 70% of our training courses are live and we train you live in the market. So you're not just reading out of a textbook. It's like a different adventure. It's just a different course because different movements in the market, different situations happen all the time, but it's the same game. And that's what teaches you how to trade in today's volatility at Cybertree University. City, the site of the International Traders Expo. Um, and I like to show people when I start trading live because it gets them to feel the look and feel of what it's like to be in that race. In the competition, our camera focuses on Puglisi, who, despite all the options available to modern day traders, is concentrating on common traditional stocks. 
I have. I already did two trades already. The session starts with Fausto fishing for active stocks. Soon, it will be the last half hour of the market day in New York, almost always the most active part of a short-term trader's day. I'm scanning through my top 20 list. I, I, my top 20 list is all percentage gainers and losers. I'm trying to find a stock that has some good volatility. Um, I'm trying to find some stocks. I mean, I don't care what they do. I don't, I don't care if they're going bankrupt or whatever. Fausto finds his first big move, United Airlines. He buys, and it dips. He sells and it dips even lower. You gotta know where those dominated brokerage firms are, you gotta know where they're buying it, you need to know where they're selling it, you need to know who the big boy in that stock is. A lot of people think it's just as easy as just, you know, let me just trade a brand name stock and, you know, because it's, you know, Intel or Google, you know, and, and that's something that you don't want to do. Good to see you. Grant sounds good. All right, good, good, good. Well, guys, thank you uh, so much for being here on this lovely, nice little rally in the market on uh, the 16th of October. And uh, today's uh, presentation is basically going to be covering how to beat the smart money at their own game in under two hours a day. Now, my goal is here today is, um, is basically to, uh, to spark your interest in trading. Now, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Cybertrain University. I'm going to teach you guys a couple of strategies. Uh, but let me tell you what the ultimate goal is to accomplish today. I can't teach you how to trade in an hour, okay? But what I can do is spark your interest and make you see that trading is not as complicated as you as you make it to be and make you realize that we all need a mentor. We all need to surround ourselves with great traders to be successful. So what I'm looking to do today, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm looking to recruit people that I could that cyber trading could train so we can make money together. So what I'm looking for is some serious traders. And I'm going to teach you just a couple of you know, basic trading strategies that will, and, and when you look at it, you'd be like, oh, you know what? I could do that. That's great. I could, that doesn't seem hard. And you could teach me that. Yes. But if you can't get it, then I'd rather, you know, now, because you could lose a lot of money in trading. You could blow up your account and it's, it's the worst feeling in the world. And let me tell you why people, the main reason why people lose money, it's not because they got into the wrong stock or because it was bad luck. You know what it really has to do with? Who trained you? Who really trained you to get into that position? And why did you lose money? And how did you, you know, these are the things that you're going to learn. So I'm not going to be giving away any computers. I'm not going to be come here and, and get, punch my chest and brag how much money Fausto is and, and all the championships that I won over the years and, you know, brag about all this and that. That doesn't make you money, guys. Okay. I want you to go out there and buy your own watch, your own car your own computer. I don't need to give anyone anything, okay? What, you, what you're here for is to realize is that i finally going to find someone that could teach me how to play the game without selling me to buy his next best indicator or his next best, you know, style. And that's what it comes down to. So let me just uh, give you a little breakdown of what we do here at Cyber Trade University, and then we're going to get into the strategy uh, about it. Now, just to let you guys know, um, we do have some students here. And um, that are logged in and they're going to be chatting. They're going to be, you know, here to kind of help recruit and uh, recruit new, new traders like you, because we all know that if you guys want to learn, if you guys learn how to trade, we're going to make all our lives a little bit easier because this is a team effort. All right. And that's where it comes down to. So let me just tell you a little bit about Cyber Train University and tell you why when, what I'm going to teach you and tell you is you better do this right. Don't do it at all. So anyway, I'm 47 years old. You know, I have a lovely wife. I've uh, been married for over 23 years. Got three wonderful sons. And, um, and, and how this came to fruition was what happened over 25 years ago. Um, hey, hey, Tom, nice to see you. Look at John Ellis. Hey, there's, <laughs> I see, I look, seems like a bunch of you already starting to get along and re remember the familiar names. Anyway, regarding about how I started, I've been doing this for about 25 years and um, my parents are immigrants. They came here from Italy and my dad came here because, you know, this was the opportunity country to start your own business and do very well. But, uh, but it wasn't very easy for him. He worked very hard. He worked about six days a week, only could spend Sundays and maybe go to, you know, go on church on, I mean, six days a week and go on church on Sundays. And um, he always taught me, he says, son, you know, I, I don't want you to work as hard as I do. Okay. You're in New York. A lot 
money here. They've been around for a while. Go out there and find out what they're doing because at the end of the day, I want to spend more time with your family when you get older, okay? Um, chances are my body's going to probably break down because I work so hard. And, uh, and I want to you know, you know, tell you a little bit about my parents and stuff like that and their health issues, but it's, it's, not, it's not good. And, and the thing is, he's always taught me, he says, listen, go out there, find a, a job that you can be less stressed, you can make a lot of money, you can spend a lot of time with your family and travel around the world. So what did I find? Trading. And well, being in New York, this is what we do. So what happened was I started, I started trading and I blew up three accounts. And the only reason why I lost money in trading is because I was an ignorant 22-year-old kid that thought I could teach myself how to trade. Now, now stop and look yourself in the mirror, guys. How many of you guys went through what I went through at 22? Oh, I don't need to learn from it. I could do it myself. I read a couple of books. I listen to everybody. I read the paper and watch what they're doing on TV. How hard could it be? Well, it's, it's not hard. You know, actually, I'm sorry. It is very hard. It's just it's, you got you to know how to play the easy route. And, you know, and what ended up happening is that eventually I gave up and I said, there's got to be an easier way. And you know what it was? Getting a job as a trader, working for somebody and learning from the best in the industry. Now, think about that for a second. How many of you here start, you know, work for somebody? Marv, you've been there. You've done that. OK, listen, we all done it. And you know what? Listen. You could be honest with yourself here. Nobody's going to rat you out. Nobody's going to you know, tell your spouse and you know everything. Listen, the, the, we are here to have a reality check. You're here for an interview because you know you want to do this. You just got to find the right people to do it with. And that's my goal. So what I'm looking to do, and that's, and by the way, when I started and I, and I walked on the first day on the job, I realized everything I had was the total wrong technology wrong platform. I was trading the wrong stocks. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I'm like, wait a minute. And then I, and then my mentors taught me, he says, and you think you're going to compete against us by going out there on the other side of the computer and working out of your basement, which is six monitors, Fausto. And I'm like, Jesus, I didn't even know you could do this with one monitor. I thought you need six, you need this, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, at the end of the day, guys, you got to do it right. I don't do it at all. So that's how cyber training university was born. Eventually, I wanted to go on my own, but my mentors taught me, and they says, listen, Fausto, the way you're going to do it, you got to teach people how to trade like you, the way we're teaching you, and you got to surround yourself with great traders because you can't do this by yourself, all right? And that's how Cyber Trade University has been born, and that's why we've been doing business for over 25 years. I'm also the author of the book of How to Beat Market Makers in Our Own Game, um, and it's a great book. But the thing is, what you guys have to understand is great traders never stop learning. OK, now what my goal is today is not only to teach you guys a little bit of, of how you, you guys have been trading backwards for so many years, but my also goal is I want to invite all of you to come to my original trading room that I started and it's um, that and now you're seeing them pop up everywhere. But we are the original online trading room that I started 25 years ago. So at the end of this presentation, I'm going to give everybody an opportunity to join us for a full week and see what it's like to trade two hours a day and seeing people not make hundreds, but people make thousands. I could probably say my trading room makes over a million dollars a month. My trading room with all my traders and what they're doing. And you don't believe it. Guess what? You're going to all see the fact, you know, right in front of you. You're going to get to meet all these traders that we're training every day. The same people just like you. And let me tell you, if they can do it, you could do it. And look at those faces. Look at those people. And guess what? Grandmas, grandpas, business owners, border control people, cowboys, engineers, you know, accountants. I mean, I, the list goes on and on and on. These are people just like you. And guess what? They were here just like you if it was a week ago or several years ago. And you're going to get the opportunity to meet them all. But before we, you get the opportunity to meet all these traders, let me just tell you what we're going to learn today. Because today is going to be a very important day that's going to change your life because I'm going to teach you how to trade, you know, trade to markets. So I'm going to talk about how to use time and sales. I'm going to talk, I'm going to tell you a little bit why, you know, indicators are not completely necessary, which a lot of people think they are, which is not. I'm going to explain the difference of what level one, two, and three is, which is probably the number one reason what makes these stocks go up and down. 
and why you need to know where the smart money is. You, you got to remember, when it comes to trading, guys, it's not, it's not what you think. It's what everyone else is thinking. The guys that trade a lot of shares doing it. So with that said, um, and before we get started, I would like to start off with a little poll question. I want to get to know a little bit about everyone, and I want to know what kind of trader you are. So if everybody's got this little poll up here, just tell me, what kind of trader are you? Are you a stock trader in options, futures, Forex? You know, are you an investor? Just want to get to know a little bit about what everyone we where to go about doing this. All right. So as you guys are filling that out, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Okay. I'm an actual day trader. Now, it's incredible that the word day trading has such a bad name and people are like, oh, you're going to day trade and you're going to lose all your money. You know, listen, day trading got a bad name back in 2000 um, because, and, and let me, because a lot of people were doing it, but let me just tell you what they were doing. They were not day trading. Okay. They was, were trading futures. You know, just that, that, you know, that they just use that word to classify if someone's trading on their own. So let me tell you why I'm, I'm a day trader. First, let me explain what it is. You're in and out the same day. Okay. You're not holding positions overnight um, unless it's being done into design, but then you're becoming a swing trader. So you don't really mix and match. So, you know, day trading, I just like to trade. I know, I know what I made. I know what I lost. And tomorrow I can come in with a clear head and start all over again. So I know exactly you know, what the outcome is. And that's why a lot of people like the day trading part of it. They're like, you know what? That's exactly what I'm looking to do. I want to, you know, I own these positions. And I thought I was making money, but by the time I sold it, I lost money. Um, it's just, you got to ask yourself who really trained you. Okay. Now with that said, and let me just, uh, get back to the, um, the, 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 uh, slideshow. Now I know we have some options, traders and swing traders. Let me just tell you guys a little bit about you know, options and swing trading before we move forward. If you want to be a good swing trader, okay, you have to learn how to day trade first. It's the movement of the stock. You know, it's what happens over the course of the day, which will lead into a swing trade. And if you want to be a good options trade, let me tell you something about options. I like options, but everyone I speak to trade options for the wrong reasons. You know, they're playing it as a poor man playing a rich man's game. You know, you got to remember, it, it's 10 times harder to make money on an option than if you just bought the stock directly. But people always say, yeah, but why would I do that? I could just trade the option. Yeah, of course, you could do that, but it's 10 times harder. You got commission, you got spread, and you got time. And, and next, how do you know what options to trade if you don't even know what the stock is doing? So you better be a good damn stock trader first before you consider doing any other stuff. Now, regard, now, now let's get right into... 50% of the people that lose money in the market, okay, right off the bat. The reason why so many people lose money in trading and the reason why you're getting all these great deals on, on ticket charges and stuff like that is because brokerage firms trade against you, okay? They know for a fact that 80% of traders lose money. So they're basically just, it's a big casino to them. They're just holding the bet. Or they're taking your order and they're just doing payment for order flow. They're basically selling it to someone else. Now, not all brokerage firms are like this. They're, they're, there's a big difference between online brokers and direct access. So just really, um, if you guys got a pen and paper, I want you to write this down. Call your brokerage firm after this event and ask them a very keen question. How do you guys make money charging me $5 a ticket? Okay. And they're going to look at you like we have three heads. They're like, because you know and I know you can't make money charging $5 tickets, $7 tickets. There's another way. And ask them, what, is, what does payment for order flow mean? That's another great question you should ask. Why, how, do they make, how do they make money with you by selling your order to somebody else? So, you know, the thing is this. There is a market for them. But if you're an active trader and you're trying to trade today's volatility, you can't trade with them. Because they're not giving you all the data. They're not, you're not seeing all the tech. You're not seeing who's buying it, who's selling it. You, you got all these crazy tabs and stuff like that. Which, by the way, I'm going to show you exactly. And you're going to realize, like, holy cow. You mean I could trade like this? My broker doesn't offer that. Of course they don't offer it to you. Because they don't want you to know what's going on and what they're doing behind the scenes. Now, remember, I am not a brokerage firm, okay? I'm just, I'm just some day trader that I've learned from the best traders in the world living here in New York. 
And I am here passing over that knowledge to you so you guys could hopefully be part of our team and see it so we can make money together. Um, Jetty, yes, TradeStation is not betting against you. They're a great brokerage firm. It's actually one of the stocks, one of the brokerage firms that we feature in our trading room. Great, great brokerage firm. But when you're talking about like Schwab and TD and, and Fidelity and, you know, uh, E-Trade and, you know, I mean, depending on what accounts you have with them, they're all pretty much trading against you. All right. Now, I know that is not the most, you know, attractive part of this presentation, knowing about brokerage services, but do you really want to be part of half of that failure rate? I mean, think about it. You know, it's like when you stop and think about it, like, you know, they got to be doing something. Okay. Um, John, how about E-Trade? You know, I don't use them. Um, but once again, you're dealing with a big, big company. You're just another number, you know, and you know, when it comes to trading, you got to have the, you got to have the right broker. That's going to look out for your best interest. You got to remember, you have a lot of money on the line. You got to know how to trade it right. So don't want to spend too much time on this. I really want to get to the meat and potatoes of uh, the cyber training diversity strategy. Cause I want to teach you exactly how uh, market makers trade, how Wall Street traders trade here. So that's going to be the next topic. I but I just want you to know, um, this is your least uh, importance right now. Opening up a brokerage firm is not something that you should be really concerned about. If you got it open, great. Don't worry about it. But the most important thing to do is this. You got to learn how to drive a car first, Okay. Let's not worry about buying a car because if you bought the car and then learned how to drive, chances are you probably bought the wrong car for the wrong reasons. And that's what we need to do. Uh, Jane, Tastyworks is a very good, I know Tom Sosnoff, um, great options platform. Probably the, it's, it's, it is, in my opinion, the best one out there in the industry. All right. So let's get right into finding out what is direct access, how do we get it, and what are the benefits from it? Because at the end of the day, you're going to learn how to drive your own car, which a lot of you are not doing right now. So let's begin. Dow Jones is down almost 1,500 points. Now we're getting a nice rally here, okay? And I know a lot of people like screaming because that's so funny. I always, I always find out our, our events are so much busier when the market's doing bad. Nobody worries about when it's doing good. Everybody's worried about, oh, what do I do? What do I do? So it's almost down about 1,500 points. Why is it down? Who drove the thing down? What caused it to go down? And then why now we're back up 350 points? What drove the, the market back up? Okay. That is the million dollar question that people want to know. Well, let me tell you what you're going to learn right now. It's not my job to tell you what to buy and sell. First of all, it's illegal. You can't do that unless you're registered. Okay. I know there are people that do it. It's just a matter of time. The SEC is going to you know, knock on that door and arrest them. Um, I believe I do this for 25 years. I've seen people come and go. I know that's the, that's the thing that everybody wants to know, but that's not going to teach you how to make money. But you need to know how to play the game of trading and why these things go up and go down, which is we'll, uh, we, need, we all need to know where is the market going to move next when it, comes, when it comes to it. So this is what we need to understand. Volatility, what, uh, what swing traders hate, and what we love about day trading. Because volatility is what makes things very, very risky when it comes to trading in today's markets. Now, if you notice this photograph right here, it looks pretty like funny and cocky. You know, you got a bunch of traders on the floor wearing these funny glasses and smile on their face. And you got the people on the right. They're like all stressed out and like, what do I do? And, you know, listen, we want to be the guy in the left. We don't want to be the guy in the right. Okay. That is what we're going about to learn right now. How do you become the guy in the right? Well, we need to know how to follow the smart money. That is what it comes down to. And, and let me tell you what my, my mentors taught me, okay? Hopefully, this is going to stick into your head right now because you're going to see what we're about to talk about is going to be like, oh, my God, I've been trading blind my whole life. If I was able to tell you right now that we could shadow 70% of where the buyers and sellers are, what is that worth to you? Probably everything. 70% of the volume. See, you got to understand something. Your 100 shares, your 1,000, whatever you're trading is not going to move the market. You're like a, a fraction of, you, 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 you're the ants on the floor. 
Okay. Unfortunately, you know, the fortunate thing about being an ant, we just want the crumbs. Okay. We're not here to move buildings. Okay. We just want to, you know, capitalize on it and follow it. So how do we go out there and follow that volatility in that market is this. How many of you here, I'm going to do a quick poll question, okay? And my poll question is this. And um, have, um, how many of you know what level three is? Or do you have access to level three? That's it. And by the way, if you're a student, please don't answer this question, you know, uh, because I know obviously you're gonna, a lot of you are going to say yes. But for everyone else, because I want everyone to look at the statistics here, it's very important that you guys – answer this question and look at the statistics because this is going to explain to you exactly what, what, you know, what makes you successful and not successful. All right. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this looks like pretty much the highest number I've seen in a long time. Um, only 12% of you say, yes, you do have level three, 80% of you say no. And 7% are not sure, which I'll add that as a no. Okay. If you, you just know if you have it or you don't <laughs> when it comes down to it. All right, so let's talk about level three and what is it, all right? So basically, level three, and let me just end this poll here. Now we know where we all stand. Level three is going to show you where all the high-frequency trades are. You heard of algorithms, high-frequency trades, you know, where all the market makers place their order, ECNs. Something, you know, we'll go, we go into more detail in our courses with that, but I'm just going to give, put in a nutshell. This is where, you know, all those things I was mentioning, these are where those orders are. All right. Um, dark pools, all those, all those things that you heard, all those rumors that you heard, whatever it is, a lot of it, it's all true. This is where you see it. Now, what you're looking at is a very basic version of a level three version. Now, what is it? It's going to show you where all the orders are at every single price. You see, there are actually three different levels of looking at orders of a stock price. There's level one, level two, and level three. Level one is just right up here. It's just going to show you, you know, what's the last price. That's level one. Level two is going to show you who's buying it at 2681. But what does, it, what does that do for you? Okay, level two is worthless. Okay, what, what level three shows you is going to show you all the orders out there. So now you're going to get to see where all the buy orders are and all the sell orders are. Now, how do we utilize that data? It's like, okay, so I see all the orders. Well, what makes support and resistance level on a chart? Buying and selling. Now, keep that in mind. I want everyone to repeat that. Okay, I want to make sure we're all on the same same page. How, what makes support and resistance levels on the chart, ladies and gentlemen? Can everyone answer that question? I just gave you the answer. I want you all to say it because I want to make sure everyone's following along and is not, you know, on their iPhones or looking at the TV. How do things go up and go down in the market? Two words. You just saw the answer. You don't have to write the whole thing. Write S and D. Good. Supply and demand, supply and demand, buyers and sellers, okay? I want that you to stick that in your head right now. Write that down on a piece of paper right now. Everybody write that down. Buying and selling, okay? Supply and demand. Those are the two words you got to focus on. And this is all going to make perfect sense to you. All right, you ready to see something very disturbing? Okay, here we go. We're looking at a stock called IQ, okay? This is a screenshot of some stocks, that one of, one of several stocks that we traded. But I had a really good example here of a screenshot I wanted to show you. And you could see how the stock opened up and it went all the way down to a price of roughly close to 2520. And when it hit that price, each one of those lines are one minute uh, bar charts. And after several minutes, it went from that 2520 all the way up to 2630. Now, why did it go to, why did it stop at 2520? Why couldn't it stop at 25? Why couldn't it go to why couldn't it stop at 2550 or go down to 23? What made it stop at 2520? Well, when you look at the level three and you work your way down that list from 25, 
42 all the way down right close to that support level, which we were looking at, there was a 34,000 share there. Does everybody see that? You have 900 shares, 300, 200, 3,000, 1,000, one share. But there was a very significant buyer right down there at 2520. Well, anyway, that would probably explain why the stock didn't go lower. Once again, what makes a support level? Buyers. Do you see buyers on a chart? No. Okay. How do you see how do you see buyers in the market? You need level three quotes. All right. Let's go to the next one. Here we have a stock, uh, Roku. It went from 5530 all the way up to 5590. Now, why did it stop at 5590? Why didn't it go to 50, 56 or 57? Why did it have to stop right there at 90? Well, what makes a resistance level is everyone, once again, sellers. Do you see sellers on a chart? No. Okay. What do you need? Level three. When you look over here on the sell side and you look at how many shares are out there and at what price, as you work your way down from 5571 all the way down to 5590, which was right there, there was a 15,000 share seller out there. You also had a 6,000. 6,900 share seller at 5580, but there's really a big seller at the 5590. That's a big, big, big seller. No wonder. And then you know what? Look what happened. If you didn't have a game plan and knew that seller was there, what happened to the stock? It went right down to 5550. So here you are cheering. You're doing good. You own a 5530, like 5590, a thousand shares. You're up about $600 in a matter of, what, 10 minutes? You're like, wow, that's amazing. I'm up 600 bucks. My God, you know what I could do with 600 bucks? Not even my lawyer charges me 600 bucks in 10 minutes. And I'll make it right here in trading. And then you're sitting there counting your money, maybe talking to the wife, to your spouse, and let's go out to dinner. And next thing you know, you turn around like, why did it drop down to 55.50? Who, 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 nobody, Mr. Fibonacci didn't tell me that. Well, the thing is this. <laughs> Did you see the seller out there? All right. Nico says that's amazing. Nico, listen, you didn't see anything yet. This is just, we just got started. This is like this is like kindergarten stuff. Okay. But one of the, I will tell you, which is amazing, exactly how you felt is how I felt when I first stepped into the door. I'm like, wait a minute. You telling me I could see that guy out there and nobody told me that? Well, why why did no one else tell me that? You know why? Because they're not traders. Okay. There's a reason why Cybertrain University is endorsed by some of the biggest brokerage firms in the world. Okay. Because they know what we teach works because we're market makers. We were traders. I was a trader. Okay. And this is what we did. Meanwhile, before I knew this stuff, the stock was, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to look at. Um, so, Robert's question so you would want to sell. Well, it's Roku, yeah, uh, at 55.85 approximate. Well, yeah, you want to sell. Well, if you went out there at 55.90, you're going to be last on line because 15,000 shares were ahead of you. So, yeah, you probably want to go out and write, obviously being very savvy about that right before that. But you wouldn't know that, Robert, if you didn't see those orders out there. Okay? So let's move on. Question. Everybody ready to have a little pop quiz now? Everybody ready to have a little bit of fun? Now I taught you the basic of just a little simple screenshot. Let's have a little fun. Um, is the stock going up or going down? What do you guys think? Actually, I think I got a poll question here. I could do that. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I do. Perfect. Okay. Is the stock going up or going down? What do you guys think? Let me see what these answers are. I'll have a sip of my coffee while I wait for all of you. Now, if you notice... I know some people are going to be like, well, it's not enough data. This, that. Listen, just a, it's not a trick question, okay? You look at a chart. Don't overanalyze it. What is your first impression? What do you think the stock's doing? What, you know, is the stock going up or going down? All right. So if you said the stock was going down, congratulations, you're right. Holy cow, it's that easy? Yeah, that was pretty damn easy if you ask me. I, 
I didn't need I didn't need a a moving average to tell me that. I mean, holy cow! I mean, stocks going down at twenty sevens at twenty six ten. Perfect, great. All right. Now, the next question is, when does it stop? Okay. So, just out of curiosity, guys, thinking out loud, when do you think this stock is going to um, bounce? Is it going down to zero? What do we need for the stock? To stop going lower. What do we need to tell us, you know, it's not going to go any lower. It's going to hit some support levels or, or is it going to zero? What do we need? What do you think? Anybody have any thoughts on that? Exactly. We need buyers. We need buyers. Okay. Do you see buyers on a chart? No. Okay. The volume, it doesn't what makes it. You need buyers. How do you find the buyers? There's only one other way to find the buyers and find the demand with level three. And guess what? There just so happens to be a 38,000 share seller at 26. Okay. Now, guess what? We're at 2610. We're about 10 cents away from a big, big buyer out there. We were looking right here. Look what happened when the stock went to 26. It shot right back to 2640. Came back to 26. Shot all the way back up to 2670. You see how it constantly hit 26 and it never broke it? Well, no wonder why it didn't break it because there was a big buyer out there. So think about it. Did you need an indicator to tell you that? Did you need... Did you need a somebody on TV to tell you that? Did you need me to tell you that? No, you figured it out on your own. And what a nice little pop on that AMD. By the way, if you guys um, ever have any issues with lost sound or whatever, just log out and log back in. Okay? Can everyone else hear okay, or is it just me? Uh, just those two people. Let me see. I want to make sure everybody could hear. Fine for you? Okay, good. All right. So Mike says, basically, it seems quite simple. You know, it is simple. It is. People make things more complicated than what it is. Now, think about how much money would that have saved you if you were able to follow these orders, how much smarter and better decisions would you have made if you were able to see these big block orders? Well, that's what we teach you here at Cyber Trading University. See, what I'm looking to do is let me get back because some of you probably missed the beginning. I'm not here to give away a free computer. I'm not here to give about free anything. My dad always taught me, he says, you don't want anything for free, son. You just want a good deal, <laughs> all right? So when, there's, when, when something's for free, there's a catch, all right? So I'm not looking for freebies. I'm looking for people that I could teach this knowledge to, and we could all work together and browse the market and find what we call iceberg orders, basically. This is what we're looking to do. I'm looking for people that if you're, if you're good enough and you notice that that was a buy order, then, uh, then you might be a very good candidate for us to teach so you could be part of Cyber Trading University and we all could look for it. Because, by the way, there's no indicator out there. There's no platform out there. This is all, you know, it, it, there are algorithms out there that could do it for you. But who's going to spend millions of dollars on that, right? So um, this is what I'm looking for. Anyway, a couple of questions came here. But you give us the access to Level 3 because it is very expensive for us to purchase. Thanks. Robert, first of all, can I ask you a question? Who, tr who told you that? What, who says it's expensive? I mean, it was expensive 25 years ago when I paid $1,000 a month for it. Now it's 15 bucks. Who told you, um, who told you it was expensive? And the other thing is, who trained you? You know, did you, did you take any training from anyone? Did, you know, I mean, where, where that or, or where, you know, and I'm not taking it in a bad way. It's just that um, that's a great question. 
Why don't you have, why, I don't know. You tell me, well, that's my question to ask you. Who trained you? Why don't you have all of that? Who trained you? <laughs> that's, what, <laughs> that's where it comes down to. You could have it. You just, someone's got to, you know, you obviously, no one told you about it, maybe. Uh, Greg, uh, by the way, I've seen that it's the time you, you spoke others using an iceberg or an analogy. Yes, Greg, and I didn't get to that analogy yet. Okay, because that's what it's called. It's actually those big iceberg orders, those big block orders, we call them iceberg orders. And you know what, Robert? That's why you should be very thankful you're here right now. And that's what you want to be. You don't want to be on the 80% of the failure. You want to be on the on the 20% winning rate. Now, looking at this stock right here, let's get right into it. Um, because remember, we're almost out of time here. So, and I got about, Mm, we're halfway done with my slides. So I might I might have to speed up a little bit because I know we all have places to go and I have to teach a class. So we got an hour. So let's get right. I want to open up for questions. Um, where is the resistance level in AMRN? Where do you think where there's resistance levels? Now, what is the resistance levels? Then they're, no, they're on the sell side. Where do you think the resistance level is on the stock? Lewis, regarding about that question, I'm going to get to that. That's a great question. All right. So if, if some of you said 1870, you're absolutely right. Okay. Because they're out of all the orders out there, 100 share sellers, 12 shares, 300, right around that 1870, you got not only had a 14, but you had a 5,000, another 7,000 within a penny of each other. So yeah. If you said 1870, you're absolutely right, okay? So looking at this stock AMRN, it went from 1760 right at the open. Within 30 minutes, it hit a high, and now it's down to 1839. How could we have known to preserve our profit and maximize the big, most biggest movement out of there is by having no seeing those orders out there. And you know what? That, that, that basically just told us where to get and when to get out. It's all about having a game plan. Why not 8.30? We're not at 8.30. We're at, we're at 8. I don't know where 8.30 came. Um, 18.30 came in, but we're past 18.30. We're at 18.40. So I don't know where, where you saw 30, uh, but, it's, but the resistance would be 18.70. You can see like 1865, 5,000, 5,500, 1870, 14,000, another thousand. You do got, you have a little bit of a seller here at 1850, which probably explained this resistance level right here, but the real major resistance is right there. No, it is. And that's why you're seeing a little bit of a resistance right there. But once it broke that resistance, it went to that one. All right. So not, Having a game plan and getting out where you should have got out 1870, look what ended up happening. Stock went all the way down to eighteen dollars. And look and look it, it in 30 minutes you made you went from 1760 to 1870, made a dollar twenty, and then getting greedy and not having that game plan. Look where the stock end up. Because let me explain something to you. You have a seller out there, right? He wants to sell the stock. If nobody's buying it from him, there's only one other way he can get out of it. He's gonna sell it to the buyers. Now, do you want to wait for him to sell to the buyers? Because there's not really, probably was not many buyers out there to fulfill the amount of shares he wants to sell. So you got to be one step ahead before he decides, you know, I'm out there advertising. Nobody wants it. I'm just going to hit the bid, you know, and that's where it comes down to. Now, Mentioning what we said earlier, these are what we call iceberg orders. Now, the reason why I came up with the word iceberg order, I actually invented this word. Um, and the reason how I came up with this word is we all know what happened in the Titanic. And back then, you know, it was such a big, powerful, beautiful ship. And uh, they never realized it was not what's on top of the water. It's what's at the bottom of the water. Uh, an iceberg can stretch out for, for miles. You know, you think like, oh, I I'm pretty far from that 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 uh, big floating piece of ice. Meanwhile, it's what's at the, on the bottom of it. And we all know you hit an iceberg, you're going to sink and die. And that's what happens with trading. You got to know where those big orders are. 
A couple of questions. Uh, what what's the time frame on the average for each trade? Yeah, you see that that is a a strategy. You know, to answer that question, that's a tough question to answer. It, it all depends how much money you want to make. It could be a minute. It could be ten minutes. It could be all day. But that's not what we're trying to fulfill right now. What we're trying to fulfill is, you know, are you monitoring the supply and demand out there? Now. Does this seem hard for anyone to kind of like comprehend? Does anyone think that they're capable of be able to read and follow numbers where big block numbers are? Is everybody capable of doing that here? Okay, good. Because if that's the case, remember at the end of this presentation, I'm going to invite all of you guys to come and see our students that have been doing it for years and see if this really does work. Because you know what? There's a lot of people that, that, that could practice this, you know, could preach it, but do they practice it? And we're one of the very few people that you'll ever meet that not only do we, um, do we preach it, but we practice it. And you're going to all be invited to see it for a full week. So you see these orders, and, and you got to remember, guys, um, we're looking at like a regular screenshot. You know, we're looking at, this is, this is just standing still. So it's pretty easy to recognize it. But when the market starts moving, you know, it'll get a little more difficult, but listen, you got to start somewhere. Um, are we trading stocks, option futures in your program? Jan, you know, I personally like to trade stocks. I'm a stock trader. But if you want to trade options or futures, just send me an email. I'll be happy to introduce you to some people. There's only about two, three people that I recommend that are really good at that. The rest of the people are just trying to just steal your money, you know, um, and that's not what you want. You got to, and, and let me just tell you this. I know a lot of you out there, you know, seeing what's going on in today's markets um, and, and see what's out there and you've done your homework, but uh, you really got to, we all know we need to be educated. And not only, it's not just being educated, you got to surround yourself with a team. Uh, well, Lewis, I'm actually one of the original Soz Bandits back then, small order execution system. That's basically what you just post, posted up there. But yeah, it was big back in the early '90s. Uh, but you know, like I said, with new rules and regulations change, everything has pretty much gone. Okay. Do you short stocks? Absolutely, Mark. Uh, I mean, Robert, that's like the biggest thing out there. We always short. Just unfortunately, not every stock is shortable. All right. Now, I had a question earlier. A guy, uh, one of you, did mention and said, um, "Yeah, Harvey Halker was one of my mentors. I actually, I, he was from for me from New Jersey, and I learned from him." Uh, now regarding about the, uh, lost sound, is everybody here? Okay. Just got to keep updating guys. Some of you are probably having some internet connections on your end. <laughs> All right. So, so one of you, um, one of you guys mentioned and said that, um, I want you know, you want to trade. And you don't know if these are real orders. Well, first of all, there's no brokerage firm out there that will give you, uh, you could put fake orders out there. They're all real. They're all real. The thing is, can you change your mind? Of course you could. Anyone could change their mind, you know? And how do you know those orders got executed? How did you know he did cancel it? Well, that's where time and sales comes in. And you'd be amazed how many people neglect not using time and sales. Um, time and sales is, is the confirmation of transactions that are taking place. So what we teach you and what we're looking for here at Cyber Train University for all you skeptical people out there, which you should, basically what we do is when we look for those orders, we'll monitor and look for those big block orders. And when we get to that order, we'll follow the time and sales and see if those guys get executed or not. Okay. Because remember, maybe, you know, listen, how many times have a stock gone up and you have an order out there? I'm like, you know what? Actually, I, I, I want to cancel it. You're not buying to, to, to a contract that you can't cancel. When you put an order out there, you, we all change our mind. You know. So number one, they're all real orders. And number two, um, people could change their mind. Um, but how do we know that? Time and sales. The time and sales is going to give us the confirmation of if, the guy, if that transaction was done or, or not. And by the way, for all you chart readers out there, where do you think that those charts get its data from? Right here. And by the way, you could apply this to futures, forex, options, everything. We all you have time in sales. We all have charts. And you could just follow 
the colors just by knowing where the orders are going. Like for example, you see a lot of you see a lot of uh, reds. What do you think the stock's doing? It's going down. You know, and here you have examples of some some of the traders who are all going to get an opportunity to meet. How they just shorted, you know, CGC. Just follow the money. Look, red, 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 black, red, black, red. Black is trades in between the bid and ask. They were shorting their way down. They, they, didn't, they didn't kill it and make $3, but on 1,000 shares, 67 cents, I'll take it. 30 cents, $300 on 1,000, I'll take it. A buck 70 in 1,000 shares, 1,700, I'll take it. You know, and that's what it comes down to. Those are just basically fractions of um, when you get into the tenths of a penny. Not, nothing really important. CRON, look at what happened. Here's a stock. Goes nice and up. Probably heard about all these pot stocks, right? Pot stocks are doing great lately. Look at this one. Goes from 1050 all the way to 1250 in one full day. Neil makes uh, 19 cents. Terrell Lee makes 13 cents on 1,000. Andre makes 50 cents. Nancy Fox makes 50 cents. Ben makes 20 cents. You know, you put, you had, you had, you had 1,000 shares to that, guys. That's a pretty good, substantial winning day. Who here doesn't want to, who here doesn't want to take a nice little profit and make good money on that? You don't got to make a lot. You just got to be consistent, which by the way, all of you are going to get the opportunity to meet all these people within the next hour. Uh, Lewis has a question. Are they your students, Jan? Yes, they're all my students. You see, what we do, Jan, here at Cybertrain University, we're just not a, we just don't teach you how to trade. We actually trade with you. The whole purpose of teaching you how to trade is that we want you to learn how to speak the language so we all could trade together and make money together. You see, the education is peanuts. That's really not a lot, you know, that's the least of your problems. It's knowing how to trade like everybody else. You understand? You can't be, you can't go on the racetrack if you don't even know how to drive. You know, yes, there's a big purse at the end of that, that, that race. But how are you going to race if you don't even know how to race with other people? You'll end up crashing and then probably even kill somebody. It's the same thing. You got to know how to play with others. Um, Lewis, do you offer leverage prop? Lewis, if you heard me earlier, we're not a prop firm. We're not a brokerage firm. We don't give leverage. You, you trade your own account, okay? And we're, we're just a, a trading group. That's all we are. All I'm looking for, Lewis, is I'm looking for people that could speak the language that I'm talking about that we could teach you so you so you could all, we could all trade together and make money together, okay? But you, keep, you make your money, you keep your money, you lose your money, you lose everything. But before you worry about losing, you got to learn how to trade it first. Um, yes, Robert. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, previous data is not indicative of the future. And what do I mean by that? Well, think about this for a second. Crohn's, right? Make over a dollar, pops 30 minutes, 50 cents on 500 shares, 250, 50 cents on a thousand shares is 500. You don't need to make a lot of money to be very consistent, be very happy in trading. You know, everybody's always worried about the big money. Oh, this is the one that's going to pay the mortgage. This one's going to pay the mortgage. And that's where the problem comes in. You, you know, trade. What we teach you what to do is take very small base hits. That's it. Just take the money and run. That's all you have to do. So Grant, um, for some of you here, just traded uh, J-Nut in his sixth time this morning. For a profit of over three thousand dollars, let's give him a round of applause. Grant is a a, a, um, a trader of ours, a student of ours for over I think what three years. Grant, right? Here's a guy um, that came to me and started off for futures. Um, I'm not going to mention any names who the company was, but uh, I met him at a um, at a futures event, and you know, gr great great presenter, you know, great teacher. But he found out that he's like, you know. I, I love my mentor and everything. I just don't know if I like futures. So he says, you know, maybe I want to try stocks. I think I, I like stocks a little bit better. So Grant came and he started, um, he took my class about three years ago. 
And uh, he's a business owner, you know, like probably a lot of you out there, but didn't like dealing with, you know, with the, all the regulations and taxes and this and that. He, he wanted to spend more time with his wife, his lovely wife, uh, especially getting older, you know. Um, and always get, it always gets harder to make money when you get older. So he, he, he took my class and he was just happy if he could make a couple hundred bucks a day. And I says, you know, Grant, you stick it out. You're just going to get better, more savvy, you know how to play the game. And there you go. He makes $3,000. He does that every day, guys. He's making about over a million dollars a year. Okay. By the way, all of you are going to get to meet Grant in the trading room. Because I always get people like, oh, yeah, how do I know Grant is not like a, uh, uh, Grant is a, uh, you know, a, a mole in the room or, you know, one of your employees just saying that, you know, to make, make you look good, Fausto. And then believe me, there are those people out there, right? We all know they're out there. You're going to get to meet them. And Grant, look, Grant turned 80 years old. Happy birthday, Grant. And by the way, thanks, thanks for being part of CTU. You've been, you've been a great mentor too. By the way, Grant also helps, you know, when we, when we teach you, you learn how to teach other people. Um, are there other reasons for stocks besides level three? I don't really know what that question means. Okay. And Grant saying, I'm not even the best one in the room. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We got some pretty good traders in that room. Right. Oh, so anyway, uh, regarding about like following the money guys, I mean, look, K KBSF, this, this is what we teach you. Here's a stock. Take the money and run. Look at the time that I circled at 929, a minute before the market. This is all pre-market, all right? And then sure enough, take the money and run, and look what happens. As soon as I got out, look what my instructor said. Boom, stock just came straight down from 850 to 550. Could have made a lot of money in the pre-market. Could have made a lot of money on the short afterwards. You could, you could trade both sides. You could trade both sides. But how do we know that? Look at, look at, the, look at the time in sales. But the big thing everybody wants to learn is I want to learn how to read charts. I got to learn this indicator. I learned that indicator. My indicator is better than your indicator. You know what, guys? You know what the problem with indicators? They're laggers, okay? Sometimes you just keep things simple and just follow the money. You'll know exactly where the support and resistance level is. You don't need to have all these indicators to tell you that where all the sellers are. You know, indicators work good for like swing trading and long-term trading. But like, first of all, day trading does not work. Okay, I'll tell you point blank. Anyone that day trades, if you have an indicator in your screen, you know, listen, all you're doing is you're, you're, you're thinking too much. You got to know how to react. You can't sit there and like, well, what's the Fibonacci doing? What's my 200 moving average doing? What's my uh, RSI doing? Guys, you guys got to follow the money. That's all you have to do is follow the money. And most importantly, Watch the other traders and learn from them how they're making money. Guys like Grant being in this room, okay, and seeing why he's still there and he's still in the game and being very consistent and living a very happy and comfortable life because does Grant need to be here today? No, he tended to come here today because he knows that he was you three, four years ago, and he knows that if there's anybody of a split of interest of any of you here, and if we accept you to be part of our team, because by the way, we just don't accept everyone in our room, okay? You have to go through. We do qualify our traders because we want to make sure that this is for you or not. This is like almost like a job interview. I'm just going to let you know that. If, 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 we, if we were like everybody else, we'd probably have like two, 3,000 people in a room. And honestly, guys, you don't want to be in a room with two, 3,000 people. You can manipulate stocks. And too much chaos. doesn't make you money. But... At the end of the day, we'll show you how to play the game the right way. Now, we'll discuss a lot of the losing trades. See, one of the big things that we teach you, it's not about making money. It's about controlling losses. You know, how to take a loss, how to move on. You know how many stocks that we lost money on? And uh, thank God we got out because we didn't. We got crushed. You know, that's the way you have to look at it. And by the way, you're going to see all this stuff live. So listen. Don't be confused, all right? This is a video game. You know, it can be, but it pays a lot of money. But you got to know how to play the money. You got to learn to keep things simple, which is what we preach. Keep it super simple. You know, have the right tools. Don't get too crazy. Understanding how to find the stocks, how to play with others. You know, speak the language. And let me tell you, this you're going to realize that the potential of the amount of money you could make doing this 
is unheard of. I mean, Grant just told you he made $3,000 today. He didn't want to make $3,000 when I first met him. He just wanted to break even, actually. How about that? But you know what? He stuck it. You stuck through it. He's like, I know I could do this. I never failed anything I could. This does not look that hard. And the only reason why he ever lost money in the beginning, he got greedy. Once he knew how to like just take small profits and hit base hits and not hitting home runs and how to play with others, how to interact with others, he gets a nice payday. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to leave us off with this, and I'm going to answer some questions. But I just want everybody to understand, every single one of you need a mentor. If it's a parent, we've been parented before. If it's you parenting your kids, we're all mentors. If it's your own teacher at school, okay? And not only that, you might need several. Like I told you, Grant came to us and he found a mentor. He spent a lot of money with that mentor in futures and decided, you know, it was money down the, you know, it wasn't money down the drain. He just, if it wasn't for him, he probably would never found CTU. But we all need to learn a little bit from everybody. Okay. And let me tell you guys, you don't want to learn from free people. I know that you got YouTube and this and that, and that, but that doesn't make you money. Listen, if that was the case, I would be a doctor right now. Okay. Listen, you could spend more time with your family. You could do things you always wanted to do. You could buy things you always wanted to do. But you got to know how to play the game. I'm telling you, it's the greatest job in the world. You are your own boss. You can come and go whenever you please. You don't got to answer to anybody. You don't have to show up in the morning if you don't want to. You could do this in your, in, in, in your pajamas. You know? So what I'm looking to do is this, ladies and gentlemen. I want to invite all of you. To meet guys like Grant, you know, and Lita and Ben, Benito, and, you know, all, all our traders. And I want you to, to visit and join us for the original trading room that I started 25 years ago. All the ones that you're seeing online, ladies and gentlemen, all copied CTU. Um, you're going to be invited to see the original one and how it all started. Because, by the way, a lot of the things that you, a lot of schools and chat rooms that you're seeing there, a lot of them were actually our students. And we encourage our students to open up their own schools because we hate, because when you're going to learn is, you know what, eventually when you get good at it, you're going to, you, you know, you could, you could teach others. So this is not like you're buying my software and, you know, and once you leave, it's game over. No, no, no. That's not how we play. And, 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 and we don't want to hold anyone hostage. So this is what we're looking to do guys. See why cyber train diversity has been featured by some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry. And let me tell you this, regardless of what you read on the internet or with anybody, if you really want to know you found the right company to teach you, look who endorses them. And you'll see that Cybertrain University is, is endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. Companies like TradeStation, Tastyworks, NinjaTrader, Think or Swim, which is TD Ameritrade. You know, I've done pre presentations for Schwab. Do you know what you know what these people put us through in compliance? You think they would want somebody that has a bad reputation that teaches people how to lose money and steal money from them? No. They know what we teach works, and that's why we're featured on the uh, featured and endorsed by them. So this is what I'm looking to do. Okay, I I'm not looking for free people. Okay. Because if you're somebody that's looking for free stuff, you obviously, personally, don't take this the wrong way. You really can't afford to trade. There's no such thing of anything in this world's for free, okay? Even a free lunch is not free, okay? Someone had to pay for it. So this is what I'm looking to do. For $7, this is it. Hillary just posted a link up on the screen. For $7, okay, what you're going to get is this. You're going to get a one week in my trading room that's going to show you everything we talked about today. Three daily market meetings, a morning and afternoon watch list, your own personal, you're going to get live Q&A questions, you're going to get your own personal education advisor, okay? And after seven days, if you're not happy, I'll give you your money back. Let me explain to you what the $7 is, okay? The $7 is a joke, okay? I can't even cover the phone call for you to talk to one of my staff for $7. The $7 just proves to me 
that you're a real person and you're not a competitor, a heckler, or whatever it is. And you know if you're not. So I know we all can afford $7. It just proves to us that you're a real person. Listen, I don't. if I could do it, I would do it for free. And I've done it for free. But um, it, it caused more damage than good by doing it for free. This is your free lesson. This is your one-hour presentation. If you like what you hear, then come and join the room for 7 bucks. Now, as a bonus, as a bonus, I'm going to throw something in there. For the first 20 people that sign up right now, I will personally give you a free coaching class. Okay? Now, why in the hell would Fausto, 12-time world champion, okay, beat every school in the nation, want to talk to you? Well, let me explain to you. This is what the goal is. Once you're in the training room for about three days, you're going to know if trading's for you or not. And then it's going to be my decision to tell you, to, to consult you and see, hey, let's see if this is really for you. And I'm, and I'm going to tell you, listen, I'll tell you point blank, knowing a little bit about you, what you know, once you've been there enough, you're going to know, I'll let you know if trading's for you or not, or you want you should continue with us or not. Because I'd rather you know now than to put five, ten, twenty, fifty, hundred thousand dollars in the market and lose in a blink of an eye. And you all know, and some of you probably did blow up a couple accounts. Remember, what is my ultimate goal? Why am I doing this? Because if I could, if you are, you know, somebody that really loves trading, has a passion to do it, then I will have a passion to train you. And by doing that, I'm going to make a lot of money off you. Because you're going to make good call outs, you're going to um, you can make good call outs, and you're going to make um, basically uh, you're going to give great content in the room, and you're going to know how to play with others. Now, if anyone has a problem with the link, um, I think Hillary just put that new link up there. Try that other link. If you anyone's have any issues, you can call us at eight seven seven seventy cyber. Now, with that said, guys, um, with the uh, if anyone has any questions. Feel free to put them in now. This is where I want to answer them. But I just want to do a couple of shout outs because we already had a couple of people that registered. Um, first of all, um, Julie, John from South, uh, South Carolina, welcome aboard. Just got your registration. Judy from uh, Los, An Los Angeles, California, welcome aboard. Um, Mike from New York, just got your registration. Welcome. Any other uh, with that? Uh, when the, when does the seven days trial start? Okay, so the seven days we what we recommend you to do is this: um, you could start it tomorrow if you want. Um, I you could start it today. You know, you could start on Monday. What you need to do is you can all of you are going to be assigned an education advisor, and you're going to talk to them, and they're going to activate it when you're ready to activate it. First, he's going to tell you a little bit about the room and what to expect. A lot of you are going to be a little confused. Um, cause you might not know the lingo that we use, the code words, but we have a couple of videos we want you to watch and, uh, they'll explain it. And the big thing you're going to learn is, you know, like the professionalism, the quality and, and guys, you're going to be like, my God, nobody picked up the phone. I never even knew. I mean, you think about this for a second. When's the last time you called the school and someone actually picked up the phone and talked to you? When's the last time you spoke to the owner? You never will. You know why? Cause all they care about is pushing and selling you their, $500 product and buy my book and buy my indicator. This is that we don't play that game. I I'm not looking to make $500. I'm looking to make 5,000, 10,000 from you by your call outs, by spotting iceberg orders that I didn't see because we don't have an indicator to do that. I need, I need human beings to do it, but I need to teach you how to look for it. That's how we're going to make money. Uh, I can't start until Friday or Monday. No problem. Hassan. Like I said, once you register, Tell the edge, tell your instru your instructor, and he'll do that. And then also he'll um he'll go over a time where we could talk. A couple of shout outs really quick. Uh, Jan from um, Montana just got your registration. Who else we got here? Kevin K from Bell Rose, New York. Wow, you're not too far from us, Kevin. All right, welcome to the team. Okay, a couple of questions coming here. Uh, Grant is just saying, Faust is my mentor, the real deal, and very honest. Coming, Come join the team and have a lot of fun. Well, Grant, once again, we all know it's not for everybody, but yes, come and try it out. See Grant in the trading room and all the hundred other traders that are out there. Uh, Paul, what if I'm just interested in education now, not ready or sure I want to day trade? Well, Paul, you know what? 
There's only way to answer that question. You got $7 in your pocket? Go in the room, see what it's about, and then you'll know if it's for you. It's the, You have nothing to lose other than get you $7 back. So a lot of people had the same concern, the same questions like you did, Paul. And then once they uh, came into, uh, once they knew what the real truth is, then they figured out if they could move forward with it. What comes after $7 weekly trial if I stay? If you stay after a week, Ricky, it's $87 a month, which is cheap, which is cheap. Does level three work uh, for all wealth futures? Well, Georgie, I, I don't trade futures, so I don't know. But if you email me, if you email me, um, I could tell you a couple of broker, uh, a couple other futures traders that could do it. That could answer that, but I I can't answer that question. I only do stocks. All right. Okay, John from Chicago got your registration. Um, Lucy from Florida, Coral Beach has got your registration. Welcome. All right. Any other questions, guys? Listen, seven dollars. That's all it is. Prove to us that you're a real person. Come into trading room for a week. See how we find and what's going on with this volatility. Learn how to see what level three, how it really works. Because some of you said, I never heard of level three and didn't, why am I learning it now? Take the $7, put it in there. Let us know you're real. So you're not a competitor or, you know, some extortionist, you know, whatever it is. And see what it's all about. And then, after, and, and then you'll know if trading is Even if you are, like some of you said, I'm a futures trader or stuff like that. Listen, if you're a futures trader, don't worry about it. You know, you might like stock trading. Try it. I mean, at least, at least you know what it's about. Did you get my registration, Hussan? Um, I did not see your registration yet. Hold on. Let me just double check. I know, I know you guys are filling in as we go. Yep, I did. I did. I did get yours. Yep. You're from... Uh, Germantown, Maryland. Is that you? Got your registration. Yep. Welcome aboard. I look forward to talking to you. Also, we just got uh, from Virginia. What was this? Uh, Frendanda. I hope I pronounced it wrong. I hope I didn't bang. I apologize if I did. F E R D I N A N D. Welcome aboard. We just got your, you just got your registration. You're one of the lucky ones. All right. Any other questions? All right, guys. So listen, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Grant and all the other students to be here today and support CTU. Um, he knows he's also here not just to support us, but to recruit because he, the only reason why he makes so much money is that we have good traders in there and he's no, and if you're, if you think it could be, if you got it in you, you're going to help us all do it. And Grant, listen, he's 80 years old. He just told you, he knows social security is not paying enough. And, you know, we only have uh, medicals to pay for and we need to make money even though we get older. So he's enjoying it. And uh, you'll get an opportunity to see him and several other people that do great. But uh, come and try it out. $7. If you're not happy after seven days, we'll give you money back. Um, but at least find out what the real truth is about trading. Uh, Jan says, I did not get a confirmation email. Well, Jan, you know what? Um you can always call us. And by the way, just, just let everybody know, we just launched our new website. So um, we are having a couple little bugs with the site. We just launched it about two days ago. So um, if you're having any issues, uh, just like I said, just call our office, 877-70-CYBER, and they'll help you out. But I did get your registration. I just got, and also I got Sean White from uh, Alabama. I just got your registration. Who else we just got in here? Troy Cobb from uh, Vermont. Just got your registration. Looks like we're almost done with the 20. We got a few more. Uh, Paul, thank you, Fausto. I saw you speak last Tuesday, and I have enjoyed your speaking. I will consider $7 and try it out. Like I said, Paul, you got nothing to lose. You really got nothing to lose. Um, if you if you want to learn how to make money and trade this good volatile market and worried about if, there's, if cr the crash is going to continue or is it too late to jump in and get the rally? Is, it, is the market going to go to 30,000? Um, you know, you got to know what's going to happen over the course of the day. You got to see what's happening, you know, in the market 
And you got to see people that do it every day. But most importantly, it's not about me. It's about surrounding yourself with successful traders. My job is to teach you how to control losses. It's your job to uh, how to trade with others to, to make money. Couple other one, Robert Z from Oregon. Just got your registration. Um, Stanley S from Stanford, Connecticut. Just got your registration. I was just up in Stanford. My uh, Stan. Um, actually, going to be there next week again, Stanley. I don't know if you follow Crew. My son does. Um, in high school, is pretty big, and all my kids were big in Crew. So uh, I know going to be up in that neck of the woods. Beautiful area. Love the, love love Connecticut. All right, everyone, once again, thanks, staff, for making this very successful. Welcome aboard, everybody. And for everyone uh, that are still, like, on the fence, just, just keep in mind, guys, you got to learn before you can earn, all right? If you think education's expensive, try ignorance. You know, it's not cheap. To stop losing, learn how to do it right, because it's not for everybody. Because the worst thing that could happen is that you're going to learn something and know if it's for you or not. But do it right the first time. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for being here. And uh, if I don't see you in the trading room, hopefully you see you in the next upcoming events. Have a great day.